Are you tired of sending audit after audit and getting absolutely zero response? Or have you heard about this video audit method but you just don't really know how to go about it? Or are you looking to optimize your sales and outreach for your agency and sign more clients? Well, if you are, then this video is for you because I'm gonna be hopping on my computer and literally walking you through a step-by-step -step blueprint that you can go ahead and immediately implement for your social media marketing audits to land more meetings and sign more clients. If you guys are new to the channel, hello, my name is Jaime and I'm the owner of a social media marketing agency transforming online brands into market leaders. And I'm really, really excited for this video because we're going to so much detail and you're gonna want to stick around till the end because the last point that I cover here is the one mistake that I see so many beginners and even seasoned agency owners make with their audits that gets them less responses and gets them less meetings booked. So very excited for this and without further ado, let's get right into it. So here we are inside my computer and uh, without further ado, Let's get right into it. Now, the way I've divided this document is first, we're gonna cover where people usually go wrong and the biggest mistakes I see people make with their audits. Secondly, we're gonna cover what we actually need to focus on. And then once we know, then we can actually implement and take action. So we're gonna go step one, step two, step three, step four, and step five. And finally, we're gonna end with step six. So very excited for this and uh, let's get right into it now. The first mistake that I see so many people uh, make is that they focus way too much uh, time on what the prospect could be doing to make more money and generate more revenue. In other words, it's very logical. They, they're, they're basically saying you should be doing this so that you can have or get this, right? Basically, this implies that we're focusing on moving towards pleasure, which is a powerful marketing strategy, but we need to understand the current social landscape. And we also need to understand that that is not as powerful as moving away from uh, pain. And I'll talk about that in just a second. So you can tell someone how great their life could be, right? And all the possibilities out there. And I'm sure maybe you guys have experienced this where, where maybe you're trying to get a family member or a friend to change for the better. And you're telling them about all these incredible opportunities that are out there, but they never seem to take action. It never seems to land. And the reason why that is, is because they need pain in their own life to make them want to change, right? You can show them how great life could be, but essentially as humans, we dedicate more energy and effort into moving away from the things that we do not like, away from pain, more than we put into chasing our dreams, into, into uh, moving towards pleasure. So that's really one, one of the things that I want you guys to take away from this video. And I'll show you how we implement this on our, our uh, audit. Now, the second thing is they focus way too much uh, time on the content. And I did this a lot myself at the start. I thought that this video audit had to be this incredibly packed, you know, value packed uh, video audit. And it does, right? If you put together a very bad video audit, then it's honestly just going to waste a bunch of time and it's never going to land you a meeting. But you need to understand that you know a lot more than this prospect does, right? And so for them, even just taking a look at the ad library or you just showing them the competitors ads is so much more than a lot of agencies do. Right? And it's also incredibly valuable for them. You don't need to go into incredible depth. You can do that on the meeting. But one of the mistakes that, that I did, especially at the start, is that I would put so much effort on the content of the audit. And uh, the other mistake they make is not only do they put way too much time on the content, but they pay little attention to non uh, verbal communication, such as body language, for example. So they give no attention to hooks and tonality uh, to keep the viewer engaged and build authority, which is very, very important. The next thing is no point of reference. You need to understand that people need a definition of success for two reasons, to know what's possible and to have them know that they can do it too. With, for example, your help as an agency, right? If, for example, someone told you about social media marketing agency, but you never saw someone or heard of someone who was absolutely crushing it with the agency model, then you probably wouldn't even look into it because you need a point of reference. You need kind of like a proof of concept to really see the potential of this and understand that you can do it too, right? And the final thing is there's no clear call to action. So a lot of people make reference to working together already, which is a big, big mistake. And that is kind of their, their call to action, right? They already make a reference to working together and you haven't even seen whether this person would be a good fit. You haven't even diagnosed their problem, right? And so what that's signaling to the client is that you are not in abundance. You want that business very, very bad, right? So it's a big mistake. This is one key that you wanna carry with you throughout your whole sales process, but you never wanna mention the idea of working together, okay? It can carry negative uh, emotions for them and it can really overwhelm them. It can really push them away from you because you're showing that scarcity, okay? And uh, the final thing is only pitch the value of the meeting first. And that's the only thing you should be focusing on just to get these people on a meeting and for them to see the insane value of the, of the meeting and for you to convey just how much of a no-brainer it is for them to jump on a meeting with you. 
So that's really where people go wrong. Now, what do we actually need to focus on? The first thing, as I said, is especially in times like these where there's a lot of uncertainty and uh, it's a bit of mass hysteria, 80% of people are making decisions to move uh, them out of pain and out of discomfort. And we don't know how long this is gonna prolong, right? But it's still a, a time of a lot of uncertainty. And even once we get out of this period, still most people make decisions to move out of pain instead of to chase uh, pleasure, okay? So with our video audit, we must find the right balance of conveying where they could get to with our service and where they're missing out, right? So we need to have a, a really good balance because otherwise if we just focus on where they could get to and the insane potential, it's not gonna land as well and it's not gonna be as powerful. The second thing is you wanna find a point of reference, a competitor they can relate to. If you're reaching out to a small fitness apparel brand and you show them what Nike is doing or Adidas is doing, then it's not gonna land very well because for them, Nike is so far out that they have this limiting belief that they could never get there, right? And so it's not gonna land and it's not gonna be as powerful as if you show them a competitor that is just a few steps ahead of them. So that is the second thing. The third thing is we're really gonna focus and nail down that introduction because it is absolutely essential. They will decide whether they wanna continue watching or not at there and then, okay? And the final thing is you wanna sell the value of the meeting and have a clear call to action. So that is what we need to focus on. And the first thing to make this happen is we're gonna identify a common competitor in a sub niche. So for example, if you're doing e comm you should have a sub niche, right? And I've, I've spoken about this plenty of times on, on my channel. And here on the screen right now, you can see what I mean by that. You have a bunch of different sub niches within the e-commerce niche, and you need to narrow down into one because that is the easiest way to get a niche over your competitors. So that's really uh, the first thing. Uh, you wanna select a common competitor within that sub niche so that you can use the same video audit notes for all the other prospects. And this is very powerful and it's a way to systemize your video audit creation or your social media marketing audit creation by just purely focusing on one single competitor that you know applies to most brands in that single sub niche that you've picked uh, within, within the e-commerce uh, sector. So that's really the, the first thing. The second thing is you wanna pick a competitor that is nor too big, nor too small. They should be able to identify with them. And I've already spoken about this. So that is the first step. The second step is you wanna create your audit notes that you're gonna use across a bunch of different prospects that share the same competitor. So the first thing you wanna focus on with the audit notes is on what the competitor is doing, right? So you can have two sections uh, and you don't need to be too aggressive. I see a lot of people in this space have this very, very aggressive uh, templates and you know emails and uh, video audits and that does not work very well. And the reason why that is, is because you have to be at a low paradigm level to resonate with that energy. And so if you're speaking to a established and successful uh, business owner or a CMO or marketing director, then that's really not gonna land well on them and you're not gonna win their business over. And at the end of the day, we wanna go for those successful business owners because that way we are more fulfilled because we're working with companies that we truly believe in and we're gonna get paid so much better. So that is uh, the, the first thing. Uh, you wanna compare them to what, they, what the competitor is doing. And the second thing you wanna do on those audit notes is you wanna show them what you can help them do, okay? And the cool thing about this is you can just tie it back to what the competitor is doing and show them how you can help them achieve that and even better, right? So you don't need to reinvent the wheel, right? You can literally just say, hey, I can help you do this, this and that, which are very similar things to what the competitor is doing and help them understand that you can do that for them and even find an edge to tap into the competitor's weaknesses. So that is the second step. The third step is you wanna start filming. So you wanna use uh, loom.com to film it and you wanna keep it between seven to 10 minutes long. I've done others that have gone for six minutes. I've done others that have gone for 30 minutes as you can see in the, on the screen. And so I've tried pretty much every single duration out there and I can safely tell you that that is the right amount, that, that that is the right length. So that is the third step. The fourth step is the introduction. So what you wanna do in this introduction is you wanna nail it and you wanna make sure that the delivery is smooth. So what do you wanna do in the introduction? First, you're gonna say who you are and what you do. So you can state your mission. On the screen, you can see how you can structure your mission. And I've spoken about this on my channel already. Uh, then the next thing you wanna do is you wanna establish authority. And the way you wanna establish authority is you can say a bit about your agency and your, and your track record. If you don't have any track record, that is completely fine, okay? Then the next thing you wanna do is convey social proof. So these again are some things that you either stand for if you don't have a track record, you definitely have or should have a philosophy, how you work, maybe your process to results. You should definitely have that even if you don't have a track record and that is a good way of conveying social proof or you can again uh, use your track record. Then the next thing you wanna do is very, very important. Uh, and what you wanna do is future project. What this means is you tell them what they can expect from the uh, video audit. And what you can say is, these are gonna be strategies that you'll be able to implement yourself right away or anything that indicates that is stuff that is gonna be incredibly valuable to them and their whole team right after the audit, okay? So that is the fourth thing. The fifth thing is you wanna watch out for tonality. 
if I just talk like this for the whole video, it's probably not gonna be very engaging, right? But if you hit them with a good tonality, right? And the energy level is high and you are pumped about what you're saying, then that energy is gonna seep through and it's gonna create good emotions for them. And the final thing is you wanna have a good body language and smile. Do not forget to smile. It's a very important component of the video audit and really any video component because the two main reasons why prospects would not jump on a call with you is number one, they think you're gonna waste their time. So they think you're not gonna be of value. And that is why we show them just how much value we can offer in one single video audit. And the second thing is they think you're gonna be a, a bit of a, an internet creep because they don't know you and people, as I'm sure you do as well, uh, we wanna move away from awkward situations, right? And so we're never gonna jump on a call with someone that does not create good emotions. Right, And if you don't smile, if your tonality is very neutral, there's no shifts in tonality, then they're not gonna be as motivated to jump on a call with you. The fifth thing is you wanna go ahead and read through your audit notes, literally like I'm doing right here, and you wanna go through the comparison. And so to illustrate the points that you're covering, I recommend that you actually hop on the ad library. So for example, if I'm doing Adidas, I would go ahead and hop on Adidas ad library, right? And I would basically show them how they don't have any ads running, um, which is pretty weird. It's probably because of the uh, stop hate for profit campaign. Um, and uh, then I would show them how Nike is running ads, right? And I can show them the ads that they're running and I can illustrate whatever point I covered in the audit note. So that is the comparison. And the final thing is you wanna pitch the meeting. So what you wanna do is you wanna convey what you cover in that meeting and you wanna make it a no brainer, no obligation thing. And so you can say whatever happens, you'll still walk away with a free consultation. Whatever happens, my team and I will literally get you sorted with actionable strategies, right? That we're using right now. Whatever happens, you still walk away with a ton of value. I think you get the point. You wanna make it a no brainer and you wanna make sure that they, they know what to expect from the call. And you also wanna let them know that they're not gonna be pitched incredibly hard on this call that you're pitching them to. So that is that for creating a killer marketing audit for business. I really hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I really hope you can take some of the strategies that I covered on this video and implement them right away onto your agency. Now, the final thing that I will say is if you wanna check out a little template and a little script that I have for the video audit introduction, go ahead and check out the link in bio. That is a link to my free training. There's nothing for sale. And you've literally got templates, scripts, strategies that you can implement right away for your agency to get incredible results. And people just like you in your position are taking these templates, implementing them on their agency to get incredible results and sign more clients. So if you wanna check that out, go ahead and check out the link in the description. And as always, I'm sure you're very tired of every single YouTuber uh, pitching you to do it, but go ahead and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Also leave down below any comments, any questions you may have on this video. Do not forget to sub to my YouTube channel down below. There's so much content coming out on entrepreneurship with a specific focus on social media marketing agency. Uh, we're talking e-commerce, we're talking sales, we're talking how to get results for clients, especially e-commerce clients, how to build an e-commerce agency, how to land more meetings, how to sign clients, and a lot more stuff. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and sub to my YouTube channel. And as always, guys, hope everything is going well in your agency journey, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.